Good morning, you guys. Okay, so today we're doing a day in the life because my week has been so crazy this week and I've already forewarned to my best friend not to watch this video um, because I'm going to be talking a lot about her bachelorette party that I've been planning. Um, planning a wedding I can't even imagine during COVID because planning a bachelorette party during COVID has been difficult. It's been interesting, but it's been difficult. So anyways, this morning, it's Thursday. You guys will be seeing this tomorrow on Friday. And I have been cooking and making and prepping. So I'm going to show you guys like everything that I have done for my friend's bachelorette party during COVID. And hopefully this will kind of spark some ideas for you guys. I know we're just getting to the end of the summer here, so it's going to be hard to replicate some of the things that I'm doing. But regardless, some of these ideas should be useful for you during this pandemic, whatever crazy stuff. So let me start out by saying this. Having a large wedding party during COVID is difficult. Um, especially like the social distancing and things like that. Anyway, so we've had to get creative with some things and we, what we ultimately decided to do was to um, go out to her, um, her mother-in-law's lake cabin. Actually, it's not a cabin, it's a house. It's like an actual house, it's not like a little shack. Um, it's an actual house and it's out in um, Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, which is like super close. If you guys don't know, I'm from like the Fargo-Moorhead area, so that's really close for us. Anyway, so we're gonna go there, and then um, we're gonna go out on the pontoons instead of like bar hopping. We're going on the pontoons, and we are going to go to the sandbar and celebrate. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyways, I've been doing so much prep work, and we're gonna be doing like an entire weekend, which makes it like even more planning and prepping. Okay, so what we have done for her bachelorette party is we planned for an entire weekend. Sorry, Rick, I eating breakfast over here. Okay, so we planned an entire weekend and Friday, tomorrow we are bringing her out to the lake and that will be around 2.30. Um, we have arranged for someone to go and get her and we will be decorating in the morning, like actually not morning, around like one o'clock. We're gonna get there, we're gonna decorate everything and she'll have no idea. It'll be so exciting. Anyway, okay, so um, Friday night we're just relaxing and we're doing like masks and like all the spa stuff it's gonna be super fun i've got like a charcuterie tray i've got some really fun champagne and then saturdays when the festivities begin so i have um all of my stuff packed and um my other best friend packed some of like all of my friends have chipped in to help with this and it's so amazing anyways we've got 10 a.m bloody mary bar and then at noon we're going on the pontoons so and we'll be out on the boats all day and then by 6 p.m. we're gonna come back. I have a taco bar. Um, we kind of like split it out to everybody. So we're gonna do taco bar. Oh, good morning, Kaya. Good morning, you wanna go get shakes? That's your surprise this morning. Oh, my camera is not Hi. focusing. And anyway, all right, I've got crabby kids, but long story short, I have, okay been prepping. So yesterday I prepped all of the taco meat and I got like all the seasonings and the croutons and things like that put together for the two egg bakes that I'm doing. And I basically just like put that in a baggie ahead of, so like everything's ready ahead of time, right? Um, and then I've got um, bacon pre-cooked for one of the egg bakes. And then this morning I just finally finished up with all of my prepping and I got the sausage. So I was going to record a DIY on these and I just was so stressed. I was legit sweating when I was making these, you guys. I still need to iron them on. I'm waiting for my friend to bring me an iron this morning so that I can finish these up. Um, these were super stressful. So that DIY did not happen because it would have been a hot mess. But anyways, I made, these were like the gifts for everybody coming to the party there. All right, so I've got 18 hats here and these are going to be the gifts for everybody 
attending the party. Okay, so in the fridge, I've been doing so much prepping as well. Um, I've got, like I said, the ground sausage, like for the egg bakes ready to go. I've got all my groceries in here ready to go. I've got like egg bake stuff and taco bar stuff. And also in the freezer down below, I've got all of the taco meat. And then this morning before the kids got up, I started kind of like prepping everything. I need to move all of this now because I've got like everything's just in the corner here. So I'm gonna move this before um, we come back home after I drop Kai off at daycare. But this just has like all of like the games and the decor. Um, we're doing kind of like a beachy like palm like palm leaf and like rose gold and white kind of vibe. Um, but we've got some games and some fun stuff in here. I've got my charcuterie board and um, two casserole dishes down here for the egg bag. Over here I've got crackers, clamato, chalkboard signs. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Auntie Stacy's little party. And then over here I just have stuff for the Bloody Mary bar and for like making, I've got like some champagne, I'm making some like juices, like some jungle juice and seasonings for the Bloody Mary bar and cups for the Bloody Mary bar. The lake. We wore it at the lake. Yeah, I just don't know if that one fits you anymore. Okay, so now I burnt the eggs. Burnt the eggs, so we're gonna go and get some shakes this morning. And I'm gonna I drop. Eat anything. I know, cause mom burnt the eggs. Dang, mom. So I am gonna go pick up shakes for us this morning and then run over to daycare, drop Kaya off, um, and then I need to bring my car through the car wash. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of like how I detail my car, cause I actually do it once a week because my kids are oh, savages. Oh, let's go, let's get moving. Get moving. <sighs> Let's get moving. I agree. What I do at my shake place is I just like pour um, a little bit of like this shake into two little like sample cups that they have. So I share this because I can never finish a whole shake by myself. So I always just pour like a little bit in the cups for Kai and Riker. Um, and then I get this giant AFT. Um, it's like seriously, it's huge. Oh, well, yeah. Is that cup huge in the sky? It's huger than the sky, oh yeah. All right, so I am at the car wash. I go through one of those like automatic, not automatic, how do I, it's like, like there's like guys that like rinse it off in the beginning and then the rest of it is like automatic, if that makes sense. Um, I signed up during their Black Friday sale and I get all my car washes for $20 a month. Unlimited car washes for $20 a month and it's just like a local like car wash. It's so convenient for me to like swing by the car wash so I do this once a week. I make sure that I take good care of my vehicle. Also like my vehicle gets covered in sawdust because of all of the projects and things like that from Eminem Rustics. So I make sure that I'm here at least once a week. I might even come through like for like a rinse through like a second time during the week, but I for sure need to like vacuum and like clean everything out once a week because it gets so dusty in here. And my kids, like I said, are like little baby savages and they, they just, everything goes everywhere. I like to pick them up breakfast like once or twice a week, whether it be like shakes or um, like breakfast pizza. They really love breakfast pizza. So. Um, but they love to like throw their crust on the floor. Um, I had a huge thing of animal crackers in here. It's been spilled several times. Now it's, it's finally gone. But anyway, I'm going to show you the before and then I'm going to kind of show you my process of like how I clean out my vehicle, um, and some of the things that I keep in the vehicle to keep it organized. Okay, it's super loud, but to be fair, I did just vacuum this out a couple of days ago. Um, and now I'm going to be just like deep cleaning it. Um, this is the before. As you can see, my dash isn't like super dirty right now, um, but this is what it looks like. And I have a grumpy baby, hi. <laughs> And he always comes with me to the car wash, but I've got a broken cup from him, um, from his little shake this morning. I've got like leftover daycare stuff and toys. Oh, bless you, oh my goodness, bless you. Um, I've just got like leftover like daycare like bags and like Kaya's swimsuit from daycare, everything is in here and all of her shoes. Um, I wanted to show you guys, oh my gosh, okay. Got like doll clothes in here, yeah. Kaya just brings like all the things to daycare, so it makes it kind of difficult. Um, 
but I've got a sketchbook in here, a regular book, um, another notebook, just for like Kaya or Riker to like color and play with. And then uh, like this just like dust and gunk gets caught in here all the time. It's just so gross. My trunk is an absolute disaster. So this, you guys, is my... Okay, so this, guys, is like a complete disaster right now. This is my, like, grocery holder container, but it just has, like, a bunch of random stuff in it right now. Oh, Riker is not happy. I'm going to get him a blankie. Okay, so right now in the back of the vehicle, I have a bunch of stuff, actually, that I'm donating. Um, and then just, like, miscellaneous car toys um, to keep the kids, like, happy and busy in the vehicle while we're traveling all the time in the summer. Um, and then that's what this is as well, is just, like, a toy container um and then i've got a lunch box from a picnic in here um just like miscellaneous garbage look at all of this but i need to bring this to the donation place that's from my sister's car seat this whole bag is for donation and then this is just garbage and toys just like miscellaneous toys all over this side is really bad. I've got so much like sand and dirt from the lake. I've got a box, a shoe from Kaya, some garbage, all of the good things. And then my car wash also has like these like spray bottles and these rigs. I just make sure that I sanitize um, my hands after I use them um, since they are like community. But I will use these to get all of like the dirt and the gunk and everything off of the doors and the windows. And I'll even like spray down the mats. And if there's any stains on the seats, I'll do those and just really like shine it up. Um, again, I do this once a week just to make sure that I stay on top of it and it keeps my vehicle looking pretty nice and clean and new. All right, so just quick to show you guys like what I do to keep organized. Kaya has a million different pairs of shoes. I am gonna go through this when I get home and just like, like try to weed out some of the ones that maybe we don't wear anymore um, because Kaya always gets into the vehicle without shoes on before we go to daycare. So I've got shoes and shoes 
I've got wipes here because the kids are always getting dirty. I know, he is so mad right now. Um, and then down here, you can't see, it's like all squished. And then down here, I have a trash can. Under Riker's seat, I have like a like a seat protector so that it catches all the stuff. He's so mad. And then I have the same thing under Kaya's seat, and there are pockets in the front. Okay, so just got back to the house. Riker was having a complete meltdown, but those are just some of the things that I do in the vehicle to keep it tidy, keep it clean. It still gets dirty, but I just make sure that I swing by the car wash once a week. And if you guys don't have like a whatever a monthly subscription to the car wash, I would just use like a shop vac, clean it out once a week, really vacuum it up nicely. There's a lots of like upholstery and like all purpose cleaners that you can use in your vehicle to keep on hand in the house. But it's so easy, it's so convenient for me to like have this $20 a month like subscription to my car wash. I can go through as many times as I want. Um, and I just make sure that at least once a week I stop I clean out the vehicle and I just get rid of like the muck and the gunk and the mud and the sand like all of the stuff that just builds up over time if I keep on top of it my vehicle looks really nice so and I really like that I can use that all-purpose cleaner that they have there like on the upholstery so I can scrub it down because like I said the kids are always splashing milk or ice cream or just whatever it may be in the back seat um, and I just like clean up the upholstery it cleans up so nice um i don't like leather seats which is like a really weird thing i know but i don't like wet leather seats because when i had them with kaya in my first vehicle like family vehicle it was just like a, a sedan like a four-door sedan um i like the leather like peeled up i just it was so gross and it like cracked and it didn't stay as nice as the cloth um so I personally like cloth a lot. Um, I don't mind like cleaning it up because it does wash up so nicely um, And then it doesn't crack and like get all icky and gross like my other leather seats did But anyway, that's what I do to keep my vehicle clean with two Savage little kids who make such a mess like I said pizza crusts crumbs animal crackers all the Cheerios You know the you know the drill Okay so like I said though, I did just get home. My face is totally flushed because I was running up and down the stairs like three times. Riker was not happy. So I've got some Dory going on in the back room for him until nap time. He's just, he's out of sorts today and I don't know if he's like getting his canines. I need to look up and see like when they get those because I feel like I can kind of see something but I can't feel anything yet. So um, anyways, I think he's possibly teething. He's not in a leap right now so I don't know he might just just be crabby but um i am going to do these hats now these bachelorette party hats and i cannot screw them up i've got one chance to get it right um my friend dropped off her iron for me this morning so i'm just kind of letting that heat up right now and i am going to start with the first hat seriously i cannot cannot screw these up so okay all right, we're just gonna jump right in and hopefully things go well. Okay, so I just cut these on my Cricut. I purchased the iron-on vinyl from Amazon. Um, I will leave it linked down below just in case you guys are crazy and wanna try this like me. Um, I'll leave the vinyl down below. But I'm, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna center these or like what's gonna be easier because I don't want them to go on Cricut, but if there's like one bad hat, I will take that one. But anyways, I'm going to try and lay this as flat as possible, and I'm going to work in small sections at a time so that um, it adheres nicely to the hat.
this is like way harder than I was anticipating. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take me forever. It's taking like 10 to 15 minutes a hat. But I mean, they're turning out nicely. Kinda, kinda. This is my first time doing this, but they're kinda, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> here I'll be for the next four hours. <laughs> Okay, hats are done. Oh, I have to show you guys the hats. All right, so these only took me like all day and I've been just finishing up my clean with me video for you guys. Um, it's now seven o'clock. I still have to finish the laundry, pack my bags and somehow edit both of these videos and upload them for you. So. I'm a mess, I'm a hot mess, I'm all over the place. Kids are bathed and fed, they have spaghetti. Terrible idea, I was like, oh, I'm gonna cook like a quick and easy, quick and easy dinner, how about spaghetti? And then I was like, oh my gosh, I just added to my cleaning tenfold. But anyway, they are bathed, Riker's in bed, Kai is still playing in the bath. Um, but this is how the hats turned out. They're so cute, aren't they? I love them. They turned out adorable. So this one is obviously for my um, bride-to-be. And then the rest of them look like this. So they say cheers. They put little bows on them. Um, but they say cheers and just like some funny sayings. And um, one said, or and then like the bridal party ones say the party. And then my friend's hat says, wife of the party so anyway i thought they turned out so cute i'm so excited so anyway all right i with that said i'm going to end the video there for today i am i'm pooped i'm absolutely exhausted i still have to go and take um pictures for my thumbnails um i did get my lashes done today as well which is like a breath of fresh air for me. I took one hour off from like my craziness today to go and get my lashes done and my father-in-law watched Riker while I went and did that. So anyway, I'm gonna go take some thumbnails, finish my cleaning video, get all my things done for tonight, and then pack my bags. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days for a cleaning video. Bye you guys.